Hi, my name is Yu Ken, and today I'm going to introduce to you Rewind, a psychoeducation game leveraging cognitive behavioral therapy (CBT) to enhance emotion control for generalized anxiety disorder. Before that, generalized anxiety disorder, or also known as GAD, is a common mental disorder that comes with both psychological and physical symptoms, causing impairments in daily functioning such as social, work, and health. GAD patients experience excessive worry, anxiousness, and easily misinterpret the situation. Stigma aside, using games for treatment is actually practical and viable. Rewind follows Alice's A B C D E model of CBT, whereby I'm using the Quest storyline to simulate the activating event and educate the patients about the correct belief in diegetic manner through dialogue system. The scenarios are remodeled based on real-life incidents taken from mental health forum. Suffering from the consequences, the quest giver will then follow the player to clear the quest and dispute the negative thoughts along the progress. Finally, upon quest completion, the player is rewarded accordingly, both in game and in reality. This is because players will learn about the proper method to dispute negativity, as well as practice a more structured way of thinking through third-person perspective, which benefits them in treating their disorder. Decision-making dialogue mechanic is added to create an optimal learning environment. That can provide perfect opportunity to practice on-the-spot decision making for a more effective emotion control. At the same time, it allows players to learn the correct mindset when facing a certain problem as the story moves on. Now, Emotivate Bar, on the other hand, is a unique game mechanic introduced in Rewind to represent the emotional progress of the quest givers. Players are required to assist. Each quest giver in resolving the problem to fill up the bar and reach the optimal ending. You can fill up the bar by clearing the quest or choose the more appropriate answer for decision-making dialogue. Lastly, we also have dynamic post-processing that changes the color saturation based on the player's active progress. This mechanic is used to make the game more challenging by restricting the game view in moderation. So that players are more motivated to work on the progress. In conclusion, if you truly hope to cure their disorder, you don't explain the tutorials to them because they knew from the beginning. It's just that they can't cope with it and control themselves. Give them a journey instead, a casual one. Let them explore their inner self. Let the game guide them, regulate the emotion from the root. It is our responsibility to understand the theories and applications to answer their callings. And here I am, making a one small step towards the beginning of the end. My name is Yu Ken, and you can do it. Thank you.